Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. Jessica McGovern, international multi-award winning portrait photographer. Today I'm going to be extending the photography retouching errors series by another one because actually this one isn't really a retouch. Well, no, it is a re Well, I don't know. I'm conflicted on this. We'll, we'll get into it. If you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the bell icon. The bell icon will give you a notification every single time we do a YouTube video. So every single week on a Friday at 12 noon. And hopefully you can join me from wherever you are in the world. Let's put five minutes on the clock and get stuck into this one. So I'm conflicted about whether this is a retouching error or a shooting error because the cause of it is a shooting error. But the problem that I really want you guys to avoid from now on until kind of forever, really, is your selection process of which images you're actually going to retouch. And because so many of you are making this decision that we're going to get into, I feel like we need to discuss it as a retouching error, even though it's a technical error. But regardless, not the point, not the point. The point is, is that this is Alfie. Mm -hmm, he's just so cute. He's so cute. Okay, so this is a shot that we did just, we were out on a walk and a 35 mil lens on a full frame camera. This was the result, right? I'm shooting at 1.4 teeny tiny and I'm not that tall I'm five foot four guys so for like a height reference if you need to make your cardboard cut out of me five foot four is the top line of where you're going to get to so I'm like not that tall over the top of Alf with 35 mil lens and Alf is a big dog right so the focal plane the slither of depth of field we talk about that in previous videos so I'll link that above the slither of focus is tiny and so if we were to actually zoom in on this we only have his eyes in focus and that's the error that we're talking about today. His eyes are in focus in this picture, okay? I can go forward and retouch this, which I did, and create a really nice finished article. Perfect. What's the problem then? What is the problem, Jess? The problem is, guys, that you guys sometimes aren't taking this image forwards. You're taking this one, okay? Now, this one, I would still say is borderline passable, but if you take this one, I swear to God, I will come and find you and and delete the picture myself. Guys, this image is still adorable, but it's wrong. This is a major, 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 major problem. And so many of you guys are taking this image forwards into retouching. Hopefully you can clearly see, right, that this bit of hair is crispy sharp, okay? Because that's the focal plane. This bit of hair in line with the eyeballs, is actually still in front of the eyeballs, is kind of soft. And then we get to the eyeballs and we just can't see a damn bit of detail. I can't see the individual hairs here. I can't see the sharp details in the pupil of the eyes. It's not sharp. This is out of focus and it needs to go in the bin. Don't even take it forward into retouching. Do not waste your time on this image. Leave it. If it was the only one you got, you need to go out and reshoot. I'm sorry guys, don't, don't, don't come at me you need to go out and reshoot because then you can take an image that's like this forward into your retouching or even this one, which is closer and therefore focal plane smaller, but at least I have all this juicy detail around the edges. Please, 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 for the love of photography and all things that we hold dear, please guys, be more brutal with your pick and call. I want you to get in there and if you see an image like this, you go, oh, such a shame because it is such a shame and that's the truth, delete. Okay, delete, delete, delete. Reject, 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 reject it. Don't take it forwards. Don't waste the time with the retouching. Save your time on that you would have spent editing it, making it beautiful. Put that into going out and shooting it better next time. That will improve you as a photographer. That will progress you further. And knowing that you have made some mistakes to end up with this, that I took this shot, this is my bad, right? Meant that I could go on and correct it to ensure that I do have some usable work that I can put forwards. Now this for me, the focal plane is still quite shallow. The front of the eye is not sharp on both sides. So I step back a bit, lengthen out that depth of field just slightly and can have the entire eye in focus. And so that is today's one. Is anyone angry at me for saying this? I don't know. I'm okay with it. I see it so often. It is such a big problem, guys. Be brutal with your culling. Pick better. Make better choices about which images you're going to take forwards. Because if you have those beautiful big eyes, sharp and clear, the image itself will always look better. Always, always, always. So advance yourself, upskill yourself, be brutal. 
be a picky Patricia for like one day. It's quite fun sometimes. You just step in and step out of it, and that's the way it is. Okay, anyway, that's all I wanted to cover off today. If you found this helpful, please put it in the comments below. Really, really, really interested to know. And if you are somebody who edits images where the eyes are out of focus, knowingly so, I'd love to know your reasons why. I think that it's really important to have this discussion. So please drop some stuff in the comments below. Nice to start a little bit of a debate and a conversation. Of course, for me, technical correctness is always top priority because that's what makes photography so incredible. And it means that we always, always, always continually learn. So me out on the fly went from this one to this one to this one to be able to make my technical gains that I wanted in my final images. But I'd love to know from you what you think. See you again soon.